Hello guys, welcome back. Here I'm going to start a new bootcamp series on learning full stack Ruby on Rails development with Rails 7 and Turbo Hotwire. In this bootcamp, we will mainly focus on how we can create a real world web application using Ruby on Rails, Turbo Hotwire, Stimulus JS. Okay, and during the course, you will learn a lot of topics. Here I'm going to share a brief list of content that we're going to cover in this bootcamp. So, first we will cover like the complete life cycle of a Rails application, then Rails associations, controller routing mailers background jobs how to build real world application from scratch in rails and then work with turbo hotwire and stimulus js here we will see how stimulus controllers works and how we can connect dom element to the stimulus and then how we can handle the request within the turbo hotwire or turbo stream okay and then we will work on improving the performance of active record queries uh, for example if there are n chances of n plus one query then we will see how we can reduce that okay and then we will work with 10 plus important and most frequently used ruby uh, ruby gems uh, sorry 20 plus ruby gems in this bootcamp okay and then we will work with postgres database and raw sql queries in rails okay because sometimes it is important to know the core sql because uh, uh, sometimes you have to write raw SQL queries instead of active record queries, okay? Because uh, that is, uh, uh, you can say like that is important in terms of writing the queries which performs much better in terms of performance, okay? And then we will write uh, test coverage using R spec and Capybara to test uh, the model uh, specs, uh, controller specs, request specs, uh, and the feature specs. Okay. And since this application is going to be very long, so I have divided this application into multiple modules. So at the end of each module, we will discuss few interview questions that will help you to learn Rails in much better way. And that can also help you to get the job as a ROR developer. Okay. Now, let me discuss about the project that we will develop in this bootcamp. So we will build a community project for programmers. You can consider this like a LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, where you can find professionals of different areas uh, in our project, we will allow users to find software engineers from different technologies and programming languages across the world. Okay, here we will implement search features, send or accept or reject connection request, view other members profile, sharing of posts and comments on posts and so on. We will also work on implementing notification features, mailers, background jobs using active jobs, writing test coverage using R spec and so on. Okay. And after following this bootcamp program sincerely, you will be able to develop projects on Rails applications from scratch. And you will also be familiar with working with Turbo Hotwire and Stimulus Gens and so on. And apart from these technical sessions, I will also discuss how to handle change requests in an ongoing application, how to improve performance of a Rails application, and how to think as a product engineer and so on. Okay. And before ending this bootcamp introduction lecture i just wanted to tell you that i will do some mistake intentionally in this course the reason behind this to show you the impact of bad practices on our application and then we will see how we can overcome from those mistakes because as a developer i believe that we must be aware of both sides of implementation where we know or experience the bad practices we can strive in better ways to improve those bad practices okay so enough talking and let's meet into the next lecture by creating a new rails application for our developer community application till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe